Hello everyone, Zessera here with more Final Fantasy XII. That's right, we are starting off where we left off at the 98th floor of the Pharos uh, on Ritteran. It's really high up. Let us uh, head on over, because like, even then it's still... Hey, look, at least we can see the ceiling now. Um, yeah. Ancient letters hanging in an effulgent glow. This tower, wrought by hands undying, heaven-bound path. You who master power, wisdom, mist. The tower's secrets are for you. And you alone. Claim them. To heaven's last height you now ascend. Chosen. Know now the reason of your choosing. So this is the Sun Christ. King Wraithwall stood here. With this sword, he cut the Sun Christ and took its power in his hand. But you're going to use the sword to destroy the Sun Christ. Aren't you, Ash? <sighs> Don't interrupt me, Vaughn. You want revenge? You would have me use the stone? You would have me destroy the Empire? Is this my duty? Is this what you want? I cannot. Why do you hesitate? Take what is yours. The Christ is a blade. It was meant for you. Wield it. Avenge your father. Yes, it was I who wore Bash's face, who cut down the life of Delmasca. Lady Ash, your father's murderer is here. You and Rex! I slew your king. I slew your country. Do these deeds not demand vengeance? <laughs> yes, good. Find your wrath. Take up your sword, fight, and serve those who died before you! A judge magister there was. Two years passed. He took in his hand the midlight shard, stolen from Nabradia, and used it not knowing what he did. And Nabudis was blown away. Sid ordered this of him, to learn the Nethersite's true power. That man swore never to let such terrible power be used again. He forsook his Judas's plate and his name. Judge Zekt. It's been too long, Gabranth. Reach out your hand, Lady Ash. But remember, that which you must grasp is something beyond revenge, something greater than despair. Something beyond our reach. 
Try as we might, Gabranth. History's chains bind us too tightly. <laughs> No, we cannot escape the past. This man is living proof. What is your past, daughter of Damaska? Did you not swear revenge? Do the dead not demand it? My prince, our time was short. Yet I know this. You are not the kind to take base revenge! The wrestler I knew is gone. You are our saint, Tashelia Banagan. You must use the Nethersite. You must be the one to straighten history's weave. I am no false saint for you to use. Ash. In all Dalmasca's long history, not once did we rely on the Dusk Shard. Our people resolved never to use it, though their need might be dire. That was the Dalmasca I wanted back. To use the stone now would be to betray that. I will destroy the Sun Christ. I will discard the stone. You claim no need of power? What of your broken kingdom's shame? The dead demand justice! You're wrong. Huh? What would change? I can't help my brother now. My brother's gone. He's dead. Even with power, we cannot change what is past. What is done, is done. Yet without power, what future can you claim? What good a kingdom you cannot defend? Then I will defend queen and kingdom both. <sighs> ha! Defend! You! You who failed Landis and Almaska! What can shame hope to keep safe? Your shield is shattered! Your oaths poison those you would protect! Hello, Gabranth. Just need music for this. Hey, I got a potion. Dark, uh... Oh, I actually hurt him for twelve thousand damage. All right. Do not think killing the Kingslayer will win you back your honor. When you abandon home and kin, your name was forever stained with blood. All right.
Let's try casting Ardor. Let's see how this does. Oh, he's gonna be into that, okay. Uh, let's go back to Dark Guy then. Oh, now he's immune to it. Ha! <laughs> go figure. No circle of judgment for you. So you, too, would leave your debts unpaid. Enough of this! I can bear no more. You disappoint me, Gabranth. What? He trusted you. When you bared steel against the princess, you forswore your obligations to your emperor. You shame yourself and make mockery of Lord Lars's trust. You are unfit to serve him a sword or shield, and so I release you from that service. Your presence is neither required nor welcome. Gabranth! <laughs> You are only a tool of this Venar. How quaint. We are allies. The Acuria give men power as a master feeds his dog. It is meant to tame us. How well you've resisted their wile. By turning your back on their stones, you give us free hand to write our own history. And at what price? Damascus freedom for your nethocyte? I shall not suffer you to have it. The sun crisp be damned. <laughs> be sure that it is. For what other purpose do you think you brought us here? But, my lady, I would have you stay your Acurian sword. The sun crisp is glutted with mist, and so precious a thing must not be squandered. Let us use the stone. Finish this for now. Cocoon of the sun crest. Spill forth your mist upon this evil east. Let's see in sky be a wash in it that Bahamut may come and drink his fill. First things first. Let's dispel that. I don't know correctly, this guy doesn't have anything to steal. The problem is, this is the international version, so I should not uh, base my understanding on what happens in the original. Uh, so I'm going to steal from him anyway. High potion, okay. That's what I thought I might get, but still. Okay, so that heals him. Good to know. Well, alright. Nice of him to pull guns out of hammer space. Yeah. 
Behold the manufactured nephesite, the fruit of our power and knowledge. See what the stone of man is capable of. Witness its power with your own eyes. Come free it to me! Famfrit! The Darkening Cloud. This is based on... Its name is taken from the end of Final Fantasy III. And boss. Nothing like hitting this thing for 11,000 plus. No, he's gonna use a super attack. Oh, he silenced me. That's just rude. Why do you have that back up on you again? I gotta get rid of that. Come on. No cheating. Eleven thousand damage. Down goes Fam for it, and he's using his uh, Sid using his super move. That's kind of cool, silly. I'm interested to see what that plays like in Black uh, Desert. So enemies get this like weird inherent defense boost when their HP gets low. That's right, Bamfort was an Esper that I get to use.
You obtain the Esper Fanfret, the Darkening Cloud. Let him by, Fenar. It is done. Ah, how I have enjoyed these six years. The pleasure was all mine. in no other way. <laughs> Spend your pity elsewhere. If you are so set on running, hadn't you best be off, fool of a pirate? Bursting, it beats the cocoon. <gasps> the sun crest bursts. You must run as far as you can. Easy, friend. Hadn't you best be off? That's what a sky pirate does. You fly, don't you? I suppose you'd better hang on then. Ash, the sword! We have to stop it! <sighs> this. You will now have the option of saving your game.
Blast the sea. Blast the waves. Blast it all. I don't think. I don't believe he's gone. He's read us. How could he die? Hadn't you noticed? He'd been searching for a place to die all along. Lord Vettis weren't the sort of man to run away from his problems by dying. He weren't. How could he abandon this town? You'd have him regret his passing? You'd have him suffer for and wail for eternity? Uh, that, that, that's not what I meant. No, if he's gone, then he deserve, He should rest in peace. God knows, he deserves it. Then let him. If you've time to mourn and curse him, then you've certainly time to carry on what he started. If you don't wish an eternity of regret on him, then let's do our part here. And know he's watching over us, satisfied. Satisfied? Redis? We'd be lucky if we earned a not disappointed from him. But I suppose everything depends on us now. Us? And Vaughn's crew. Are? Since when have you trusted that lot with more than swabbing the deck? I wasn't blind. I saw the faith that Redis had in them. I'm sure they'll discover what it is. Okay, I pushed the button too soon. Speaking of which, did you tell them about our guest? They should be meeting up at the manse as we speak. Who was that odd fellow anyway? Sid? We let ourselves inside. The situation is one demanding some haste, you understand? How did you know where we were? <laughs> My little birds, they tell me many, many things. My lady, the war begins now. Then you were unsuccessful in stopping the Rosarian fleet? I used a variety of methods, all went according to plan, until it came time to request withdrawal of our <laughs> most devoted generals. In their enthusiasm for war, our great military leaders went behind my back straight to Marquis Sandor's resistance. The resistance? During training, a division of the resistance ignored their orders and disappeared. They were next found exchanging broadsides with the Imperials over old Nabradia. Why would they go there? They were asking to be found. You misunderstand. Those ships must surely belong to Rosarian Division. They may have joined Ondor's resistance forces as patriots or even mercenaries, but in reality they are regulars of the Rosarian army, under direct command of our war pavilion. This fifth column has invaded the Imperial airspace and provoked a response. Unable to abandon them, His Excellency the Marquis was obliged to give his main fleet the order to attack. And the battleground is the Lamasca. Should this fight drag on, Rosaria will enter the fray. The defense of Dalmasca is their excuse, and we will have a war between empires. Correct. They will bide their time waiting to strike until the Empire has spent itself against the Marquis, but then he will crush them and the Marquis both between his hands. Vane holds the Dusk Shard no longer. His advantage is lost. Vane has advantages enough. He stands on higher ground, and my birds tell me he has awoken something quite large. Bahamut, Lord of the Sky. There was a stirring in the mist, in the direction of Ridorana, I am told. Bahamut awoke soon after this. It is the mist that came before the Christ was undone. It breathed life into this Bahamut. If Rathus had not stopped it when he did, how much more mist might it have drunk? All went according to Dr. Sid's designs. Yes, the man's last great accomplishment, I fear. And so it falls to me to put an end to the thing. Vane commands Bahamut himself? He comes to Rabanaster. Then I will defend Dalmaska and stop this Bahamut. This is my charge. That's our charge, actually. It's our home. It belongs to us all.
And my charge is to hinder and delay this Rosarian invasion for as long as is possible. I will do what I can. Ah, yes. When this unpleasantness is done, you must come to Rosaria. I will take you to the Amber Vale of Clan Margrace. Such things I will show you. Until then, I will be waiting. Lo, Van! Wood from the Resistance! The Imperial Fortress, Sky Fortress, Bahamut is on the attack! This could be bad. We have no chance of fighting it from the ground. No, the only way to fight the Bahamut is to go to it by airship. The straw can now travel to the Bahamut. Alright, so, just so you know, I really hate how they pronounce Bahamut in this. It's, uh, I keep calling it Bahamut, and I'm like, no! Anyway. So first things first, this allows me to equip more physical damage for Vaughn. Really tempting. But I might get something better for someone else, so let's check. Uh, time magic for uh, Balthier. Um, a lot more tempting. Uh, what, what do you get, if anything? More HP for Fran, not overly concerned about that. You unlock a lot of good things for people. Dispelga and Arise for Bosch. Still kind of leaning towards the uh, nothing for Ash. What the hell is it? Oh, okay. Hmm, daggers and Numerology for Pinello. Honestly, I think the best use is both ears because I want to learn Hastiga. Alright, so now I gotta figure out where the hell I get Hastiga, but that aside. Alright, before I go anything here, I gotta do my clan primer, because I didn't do this for Hashmall yesterday, and I said I would do this for each of the primals. For a game, bosses, there we go. Oh, and I didn't do it for Belias either, so I'll do it for Belias as well. Scion of Darkness and Guardian of the Holy Realm, made by the guards in opposition to the trans Transcendent Logriff, Scion of Light. Called the Gigas for his appearance, man and monster fused as one. Considered a mistake upon make his making and received receiving not his intended role. The Gigas challenged the gods and lost. Scorned by his masters, he found another, the Dynast King, whose tomb he swore to protect for eternity. Alright, Hashmal, the bringer of order. Oops, wrong button. Scion set by the gods to wield and manipulate the laws of this world, and with holy power lead mankind to order. Created in opposition to Fandaniel, the protector, Scion of Light, desiring to bring order to all things, he joined with Ultima in her battle against the gods. He gave his body to the Thousand Years' War, and when his strength was spent, down into the burning infernos he fell. Famfrit, the Darkening Cloud. The hideous, darkly clouded form of Famfrit, Scion in opposition to the Holy Queen Emeroloth. Scion of Light was anathema even to his creators. Thus, after a great battle, he was he broken and sealed within armor laced with wards. The confines of his armor are void of light, and so he is called the Darkening Cloud. Men fear the rain that falls from the black clouds that ooze from the giant ear as a herald of chaos and waste. Alright, so I have a choice here. I can go to the Sky Fortress, or I can go do some side stuff. Um, Sky Fortress Bahamut is the last dungeon in the game. I'm not sure I have time to finish it. Give me a sec though, i got to reset my...